We have an update now on the breaking news this midday from Canandaigua where district officials tell us a student has committed suicide. It happened just after 11 o'clock this morning in the boys' bathroom at Canandaigua Academy. And officials tell us no one is in immediate danger. Students are being evacuated, though. Police are concerned about a bigger threat. They won't get into specifics, but that is why they are evacuating the school, searching students' lockers, and impounding students' cars. We're going to have more on this story on 13WAM.com. And we also have 13 Wham's Jane Flash joining us on the phone right now. Jane is in Canandaigua. I know you just got there, Jane. What do you know? Well, Kelly, we can tell you the students are being evacuated one classroom at a time in a very orderly fashion. This morning, a student, a male, committed suicide in the bathroom. A gun was involved. At this point, police do not know whether he brought the gun in with him today or brought it in with him at another time, kept it in a locker, and retrieved it. Because of that, they have locked down the school, and they have done a systematic search of all of the lockers so far. Uh, they have turned up nothing, but what they are doing is something called a staged evacuation. That is one classroom at a time. They are calling students out. They're searching the students and then taking them directly out to buses. They are being bused from the school to the middle school. Parents are not being allowed here right now, but they can pick up their students at the middle school. Also, students are not being allowed to use their cell phones. We asked about why they're doing this this way, and this is a procedure that is being done mostly for precautionary reasons, uh, a program that started after 9-11 about safe evacuations. We are also told that the police continue to investigate, and while there have been no notes or no threats made by this student that could impact other people, police, I just want to make sure that there are no other weapons available. Because of that, students who drove to school today will not be allowed to take their cars. All of the cars are being impounded right now until police can search the vehicles and make sure that, again, no other weapons were uh, held anywhere else. Parents should know that there is no eminent threat threat to their students right now, nor was there ever a note saying that anyone else was in danger. But again, police are taking these steps as a precaution. They have enacted the school's policy for removing students in case of situations like this, and so everything is going according to protocol. We can't tell you much about the student right now. We don't know how old he is. They have identified him but are not releasing that information. They have notified his parents. Um, his parents are meeting with police right now, and at some point that information will be released to everyone. We also expect to hear from the superintendent. He had planned to stage a press conference at 12.15 today. However, because this evacuation is still in progress and moving very orderly but very slowly, uh, they are putting off um, giving us further information until the kids are all removed out of the building. Okay, so for the message then for any parent that's watching right now, they probably have been notified already by their student or somebody from the district, but there is no threat to their kids right now. Now, the parents of this student who did commit suicide have been notified. So what are parents supposed to do now in terms of getting in touch with their own children, Jane? You well, said that, that the kids are going to the middle school now and yes, the parents... Go ahead. Yes, that's where the parents should go to pick up their students. Um, once the students leave campus, they are allowed to use their cell phones, and so the parents will likely be in touch with them. But parents are not being allowed onto this property, again, because they are trying to keep this an orderly uh, evacuation. But any parents that are concerned should go to the middle school. It's also my understanding that all parents were notified, and that may have been via text or a phone chain um, at some point during the day about what has been going on here. Is it clear? Was anybody else in the bathroom? at the time when this took place, Jane, around 11 o'clock this morning? Uh, that is something that is unclear at this point. Um, we, we don't know much about the actual um, circumstance and the event that happened other than that it's a male student and uh, that a gun was used and recovered. All right, Jane, thanks for that live update. We look forward to more on 13 Wham News at 5 and 6, and we'll have the latest developments on this story as well on 13wham.com.